This Fox News alert as the story is breaking as well. Administration officials are telling Fox News President Trump will issue a veto of a resolution blocking his national emergency declaration today, this afternoon, in the Oval Office. Want to bring in now Hogan Gidley in the White House Principal Deputy Press Secretary position. Great to see you today, Hogan. Uh, first of all, I want to start with this declaration uh, veto today, later today. The president now making it official. Absolutely. Uh, today we expect the president uh, to veto this resolution at 3.30 in the Oval Office. And it is a sad moment uh, and a very important moment, not just because it's the first veto this president has issued, but it's a sad moment and an important moment because of what it, what it actually represents. And that is a lack of understanding and belief on the part of Democrats in Congress to recognize the serious severe crisis we face along our southern border and to recognize the emergency that exists in this country with so many people dying every year, people pouring into this country illegally, the drugs that are now in this country that are killing American citizens. These deaths are needless, they are senseless, and they are 100 percent preventable. This president has the power to do this, and that authority was granted by Congress, and all he's doing is enforcing the laws written and passed by Congress. At its core, Congress doesn't like the fact that this president is trying to stand up and protect the American people. That vote uh, against the president uh, was also against the American people and against their safety and security. And the president will veto that resolution today in the Oval Office. So that's your word to Democrats. There were 12 Republicans who joined those Democrats yesterday, which was a number almost double what we had learned beginning of this week. And earlier this week, the president warned Republicans about voting against his national emergency declaration. Let's Let's watch that. I told Republican senators, vote any way you want. Well, vote how you feel good. But I think it's bad for a Republican senator. I also think it's bad for a Democrat senator to vote against border security and to vote against the wall. I think if they vote that way, it's a very bad thing for them long into the future. Why is it a bad thing for Republicans to vote against the president's decision to turn to say that this is a national emergency? Well, look, I, it's far for me to try and guess why Republicans would do this. Some mentioned the, the procedural line they didn't like. Some questioned it on other grounds. But the fact is, it's bad because that vote against that measure effectively made this country less safe. It put American uh, people, uh, the American people's lives at risk. It is dangerous. And what we have seen in the, uh, the exploding numbers of people coming into this country illegally, unchecked, using children, uh, the, the, the most vulnerable among us to make that journey, using women, the abuse, the rape that occurs along this, this uh, journey as they move into this country. There are so many incentives in our laws to use and abuse so many people across the globe to come here. Democrats wouldn't even come to the table to have that conversation. Republicans will have to answer for that as well. But the fact remains, the emergency it does exist. The crisis in this country is now well recognized. Barack Obama called it a humanitarian crisis crisis back in 2014. Right. And today in the Oval Office, I just want to make this point as well, uh, Harris, the president will have angel moms and dads with him in the Oval Office, people who have been uh, so terrified and upset and their lives turned upside down by illegal immigrants who've killed their children. There will also be law enforcement officials, Customs Border Protection will be there as well to explain exactly what's going on and what that vote meant okay. for the people of this country. And it's a sad situation. And again, that's 3.30 p.m. Eastern. And I want to get to this. Uh, the president uh, obviously meeting with national security officials. That's happened in just the last hour or so at the Pentagon. And Hogan, North Korea is reportedly threatening to suspend negotiations with the United States, and it could resume testing as President Trump went to the Pentagon today. So that's something that they had promised they would do. You didn't get a communique, though, out of that second summit. And do you feel like that now is beginning to, sh to rear an ugly head? I wouldn't say that. Look, the president has a good relationship with Chairman Kim. He also said that if, if Chairman Kim started to do the things he said he wouldn't do, that it would be quite disappointing. The president got Do we have a reaction or just disappointing? Well, Oh, well, look, it's disappointing uh, from, if those reports are true. I'm not going to comment on intelligence, of course, but the fact remains the president wants denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. That's what this is all about. And any step backwards would be a disappointment. The president said that many times. Okay. And, when, and the reason I say, is there any other reaction to that? I mean, when other countries have done things, we sometimes have, you know, had, a, had some sort of a plan that you announced to the American people. This is a big deal if they resume that, that missile testing that they had stopped for 18 months. 
Absolutely. And that was one of the things they promised they wouldn't do while these negotiations went on. Obviously, I don't have any announcement here for your program. Sure. But we're absolutely on top of this, looking at it. The president was clear eyed going into this, understanding the reputation and the historical context of, of the regime. We know uh, that's exactly why the president walked away from a deal that wasn't good for this country. He wants to protect the American people, our partners and allies across the globe. And it makes the world safer for North Korea to be denuclearized and not to continue on with testing. And uh, we're monitoring the situation, as, as you know. And, and by the way, Hogan, not, I don't know if people missed this or got it yesterday, but some Democrats are continuing to give the president credit for walking away from what would have been a bad deal rather than sticking to one that would not have been good for the country. Among them was Chuck Schumer, Senator Schumer, just yesterday. Hogan Gidley, outside the White House today, thank you and have a great weekend. Thanks so much for the time.